The 10 top ways to be unmotivated. I'm amazed at how many people declare that motivation is all hype and that it's not necessary to read personal development or inspirational material. So why don't we take a reverse look at the motivational world for just a minute by adding the two letters U and N to the front of the M word. And just for a cheeky moment, I want to unveil the resultant human life that is unmotivated. Here are the 10 top ways to be unmotivated. Number one, don't condition your mind. Let your mind wander wherever you want. Make no plans, forget about lists, don't think, just blob out. And whatever you do, don't read motivational books and definitely not a motivational memo blog. Number two, don't condition your body. Sit in front of the TV and chill big time. Exercise? What's that? Relax. No exertion. It's not good for your heart. Number three, associate with negative people. Hang out with gossips. Thrive on the latest, did you hear what she said? Make the end of the world, the global financial crisis, the latest earthquake, flood and cyclone the centre of your conversation. Make a habit to tune into the six o'clock news. Number four, be inflexible. Whatever you do, don't change. Don't change the clothes you wear, don't change the food you eat, don't change your habits, don't even change your mind. And whatever you do, don't be open to any advice given to you by someone who is more successful than yourself. Number five, act with no purpose at all. Wake up each day without a plan in place. Meander, wonder, live for yourself. Don't get involved in any cause that could help others. What's the purpose anyway? Oh, and don't you dare write down your goals. Number six, take no responsibility for your own results. If something goes wrong, blame others. Do what you like, when you like, how you like, with whomever you like. Who's keeping score anyway? Number seven, don't stretch beyond your limits. Stretch? That sounds like hard work. Remain comfortable within your comfort zone. Don't ever do more than you're asked to do and never try something that you haven't tried before. Keep close, stay tight, no risk. Number eight, forever wait for perfection. Do it tomorrow. Put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Get around to it once you get it perfectly perfect. Anyway, what's the rush? Unless it is absolutely perfect, there is no way that you're going to start on that project. Everything has to be just right before starting. Number nine, eat anything and eat more, drink gallons, and whatever you do, choose the yummiest, the fastest, the fattest, and the greasiest meals on the menu. Dieting is for skinny people. Number 10, hang around unmotivated people. Hang is the key word here, because that's what unmotivated people do. Their conversations are a bit like this. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? You know, I really don't know. Tongue in cheek, I know, a little naughty, <laughs> but the cure for unmotivation is to remove the un from motivation. Do it now.